Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Today I ended up receiving a package from Redgrass Games and this is going to be more just of an unboxing. I will do actual reviews on the products inside this box. For those of you that don't know, Redgrass Games uh, actually initially started as a Kickstarter of creating a wet palette and then some mini holders and then they've grown and they've started carrying brushes, things like that. They're actually based out of France. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is one of my concerns was when I placed the order, it said, okay, it will be sent to one of our distributions. And there are a couple shops here in the US that end up carrying their products. But when I placed the order, I ended up getting a confirmation and then a tracking number, which actually I have to say it was super fast. I placed the order, I don't know, I wanna say last Wednesday, something like that. And I placed it at about 10 o'clock our time. I was just late night shopping, looking around, stuff like that. I wanted a new wet palette because the one that I have, the Masterson, it's just, it's really big. In fact, I don't think I've ever done a review on it and I will if somebody wants to, but these are the pads that go into the Masterson. So it's about uh, eight and a half by seven inches. Anyway, I wanted something a little bit smaller, something that I could throw in my bag if I go out someplace. Uh, I was thinking about that when I went over to a friend's place for Super Bowl is I actually wanted to take one of my minis and just work on painting a little bit on it. But I didn't want to drag the big wet palette, things like that. And I've really become accustomed to and like using a wet palette, mostly because I end up getting sidetracked, things like that. And the paint just ends up drying up if I just put it on a piece of plastic. So anyway, back to the original story. So I ended up ordering this because it's a smaller one. And here is the package. Now I don't have the big lights on and everything. I have the BenQ light on. That's the only one I have on. And it's actually on pretty bright. I had to turn down <laughs> the lighting a little bit uh, because well, it's all white and this is gonna be a pretty shiny. But anyway, so I ended up ordering this and I actually got the tracking number within about, uh, I wanna say six hours of placing the order, it went to Redgrass Games, then it got sent to a distribution center and then I got the tracking. And then I ended up finding out the tracking came out of distribution in Germany. And I was like, okay, great. Now the good part was if you spend over, I think it's 35, $38, something like that, US dollars, you get free shipping. And that's what I ended up going for. And I was like, okay, great. This is gonna take forever to get here, but it didn't. It actually arrived today on Monday and I think I ordered it, like I said, last Thursday. So I didn't even know. Tracking went through normal um, post office. So I didn't even know that they shipped it by DHL post. It was priority mail uh, international. So that was actually pretty awesome. And that's one of the things I wanted to bring up with this video is I like letting you guys know companies that I deal with or have I purchased from that have been really good in both their their products and also in their customer service. So again, this was from Redgrass Games. Um, I'll put a link down below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get anything. I paid for this myself. So let's just crack this open and take a look. Uh, you can probably kind of see if I widen up the camera angle a little bit, you can see uh, over here is the master grade Barbatos. It got all built up over the weekend. Right here is the high grade uh, one 100 Barbatos. And I want to do a comparison between the two. One of the Warhammer things. And then I have the other one over here. Look for those videos coming later this week. Uh, I have a different camera set up that I'm going to try and use. I'm going to have this overhead and then I'm going to have a camera sitting here facing this way so I can get a little more up close, just a little bit different angle for you guys. But cracking open, I did pull out the crinkled up paper that was in here. Um, I only ordered two things. So I ended up ordering the deluxe version of the painter kit and I ended up ordering an ergonomic handle. Now I actually have a couple of different handles. I have this one somewhere around here. I have, and I think something's on it. Uh, I have the GW handle. I don't even know where it is. It's, it's around here somewhere. Um, but I have that that I end up using. I have this and it did come with, and it did end up coming with this. And I was kind of disappointed because with this on here, I know it's supposed to be able to like spin, but this just freely, like it's too loose on there and I'm not happy with it. And yes, I can put some tape in there, which I probably will. But for things like this, I've gotten used to um, doing, I don't think I ever did a review on this. I was super impressed and wanted to try, to try something that was all natural and this is out of wood. But anyway, so this is one of the uh, handles that I end up using. 
when I'm painting. So I ended up picking up this. I haven't opened these up or anything to look at. So we're just gonna take a real quick look. Um, this is some sticky tech. I've seen a couple of reviews and people say that this is really, 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 really good. Uh, it's really sticky and it lasts a long time. So we'll end up testing that. And then this is the handle. Now the original ones that they had on Kickstarter were 3D printed. This is molded. And the other ones I've seen actually have a screw in here to hold down. This one does not. Uh, I'm kind of curious on how they ended up designing it. It has good like friction that's in there. So you can put some of this on, put your mini on there. And then you, you know, as you're painting it, you can rotate it. Uh, I'm not going to get into the particulars on it right now because well, that's what the review is going to be for. So we will pack that up. And then this is going to be the paint kit that crinkly plastic goodness. So it was only, I want to say like, uh, only around five dollars more something like that to get the full kit and the full kit actually includes you have this magnetic uh, paint tray that you can use for watercolors anything like that uh, it also has a divot to be able to lay your brush on here to save your brushes um, the deluxe kit also comes with this band which can be used over it to keep it secure um, and I've done some research on this and a couple of different ones um, like army painter came out with one and I don't like it. even though it's a little bit smaller I think it's about half the size and it has a um, brush handle holder inside of it but I just wasn't I wasn't impressed because everybody that had it, it was just super loose um, and the couple people that I know that had one said it it just dried out too easily so the reason I went with this one is there's actually a rubber grommet all the way around the edge which when you place it on is going to cause a airtight seal. Um, I will show you guys if you want, leave a comment down below uh, how to make your own wet palette. I mean, it's, it is super simple making it out of a Tupperware container and I've been doing that and using one of those, but I like this because it, it's shallow. Most of the Tupperware containers, like uh, the one I actually picked up to show you guys, I mean, I already had planned on showing you how to make one. It's probably where this is this thick it's probably about that thick uh, and sometimes if you're just doing this that that lip it just not not really conducive so I wanted something a little shallower my master sin is shallow like this and it works great it just doesn't seal that tightly so um, if I go you know a day or so without pain it already starts drying out um, so I'm hoping to alleviate that because I do, you know, take breaks and stuff like that. And especially during the summertime here, even with the master sin being sealed, it evaporates a lot because my room catches a lot of heat during the day. It's probably one of the hottest rooms. So yeah, that seems to seal pretty good. You just want to place it on. Uh, I will show that in the review, but it does not slip loose at all. You do get magnets on this side, this side, and this side. So technically, if you really wanted to, you could get a couple of these and have one on each side. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually make another um, add-on just as a brush holder that would be actually pretty cool or maybe even like a water tray uh, that would be cool so anyway so you get the band you get this you get uh, everlasting wet palette 50 hydration paper sheets and I have a feeling when I do the actual review I will actually compare this to parchment paper and see if there's really any difference between it or if you can make your own you get these foams which are long lasting, naturally mold resistant, and in neutral gray. The neutral gray is good because it just gives you a neutral background uh, for your paint, especially if you're doing like really uh, thinned out paints so you don't get any color change. Um, I do like the fact that this is, I think they advertise this as antimicrobial, so that is good. I know if I leave the sponge in the master sin for too long with it wet, it will start to grow mold fairly quickly. I do recommend using either bottled water or some other kind of water 
uh, distilled water for your paints. So yeah, you have these sponges, you actually get two of those and I'll show you how to set this up when I actually do the review. And I know that's super glossy, super shiny. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what ended up coming up and give your eyes some candy, I guess. Stay tuned. Uh, I am going to work on my half ass review of the Master Grade Barber Toast. If you don't want to wait around for that, it's a buy, definitely. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed the build on it. So if you paint minis or you use acrylic paints and you're looking for something, um, I'll put a link down below. Definitely go ahead and check that out. I will have to try them out and see how well that they end up working. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.